This is a Construction Tales brief safety topic. Scaffold hoists are a critically important component of the suspended scaffold. Hoists help adjust the height of the platform that allow operators to get to their work. Hoists are intended to safely lift the platform if they are used according to the manufacturer's specifications. Never allow the load of a scaffold hoist to exceed three times the rated load. The rated load weight is provided by the manufacturer for the specific suspended scaffold device used. When winding drum hoists are used and the scaffold is extended to its lowest point of travel, there must be enough rope to still wrap four times around the drum. When using other types of hoists, the suspension ropes must be long enough to allow the scaffold to travel to the level below without the rope end passing through the hoist or provide a way to prevent the end from passing through the hoist. Never allow gasoline-powered hoists to be used on suspended scaffolds. Gears and brakes of power-operated hoists used on suspended scaffolds must be guarded and enclosed in order to prevent a worker being sucked into the hoist via clothing. Power-operated and manual hoists must have an automatic braking device to safely support, decelerate, and stop a load during a fall. Joining wire suspension ropes is dangerous if not done properly. Only use wire ropes joined together with proper eye splice thimbles connected with shackles or cover plates and bolts. If wire rope clips are used on suspension scaffolds, there must be a minimum of three clips installed. All clips, shackles, and other devices used with wire rope must be installed according to the manufacturer's recommendation. During an inspection, I learned that the U clamp bolts must all face the same direction. We got a fine despite the fact that the orientation absolutely does not have a mechanical effect on the installation. Additionally, the U clamps must be spaced three fingers width apart. I learned that when installing the tiebacks, you have to cut away the metal facade covering and get down to connecting on the brick. The C-hooks also require three points of contact when installed on the parapet. For this project, we didn't use outriggers. The workers installed a series of metal wires that were wrapped around at least twice around the bulkhead on the roof. They also installed safety lines that come from the bulkhead connection. The safety lines are what the workers are constantly connected to while out on the suspended scaffold. The workers are not connected to the suspended scaffold. In the event of a power failure or problem, the motor is designed to only go in a downward direction. The rope grabs that attach a worker's fall protection harness to the safety line have a specific orientation. It must be used in the correct vertical orientation so that it works properly. These are some of the facts that apply when working with suspended scaffolds here in New York City. This concludes this Construction Tales safety topic. Come back for more topics soon.